purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to perform a McNamara chi-square analysis. This example is based on the textbook example that examined the difference in the percentage of children who were signalers at infancy and 12 months of age and then test it again at 36 months of age. So it's a repeated measures design or within subjects design. And that's where the McNamara chi-square can test the difference between the two percentages. So I've got my variable here at age one and variable here at age two. And we have the variables coded zeros and ones for zero self-soother and one is a signaler. And that's true as well for age three. Zero is a self-soother and one is a signaler. So to run the analysis, click on Analyze, Non-Parametric Tests, Legacy Dialogues, and Two Related Samples. And a dialog box will show up with the option to put your two test pairs into variable one and variable two. And in this case, age one goes into variable one and age three goes into variable two. The default is specified as Will Wilcoxon, so deselect that and select McNamara and click OK. And the output produced by SPSS in the first instance are the frequencies. And we can see that self-soothers at age one and self-soothers at age three, there were 14 of those participants. And then there were self-soothers at age one who turned into signalers, and that's two of them far fewer than any of the other categories. And we have signalers and self-soothers at age three, so children who were crying at age one, but then became self-soothers at age three. And then finally, we have the signalers at age one and three. There were nine of those. We can see here that the test statistic is not statistically significant. So with a sample size of 33, the exact tail p-value significance level was 0.109. And we can see that at the bottom of the output, and I mentioned this in the textbook, that what was conducted here was not really a McNamara test. It was, in fact, a binomial distribution-based test, which is a stricter test, a more conservative test. I do follow this up with the Cochrane's Q, because that will actually produce an actual chi-square value, as I mentioned in the textbook. Before I move on to that, though, I do want to click on Analyze, descriptive statistics and frequencies to see the actual percentages across age one to three. I could and should have done that in the first instance. Uh, we can see the display frequency tables here, click OK. And that gives me the percentages as well. Self-soothers at age one, we had 48.5%, and that increased to 66.7% at age three. And so the McNamara chi-square test, which isn't really produced here, again, I'll talk about it in the Cochrane's Q video that follows this, this p-value 0.109 is saying that the difference in the percentages is not statistically significant. So it's suggesting that the percentage of children who are self-soothers at age one is not statistically significantly different than at age three. But of course, the sample size is not very big in this study with only 33 so perhaps it wasn't very surprising that the effect wasn't statistically significant.